I'm Paul Manning from Nundora Station. Uh, it's 175 kilometres north of Broken Hill. Probably 42,000 hectares, and Lake Wallace is nearly 58,000 hectares. We've got three sons that are at an age where they would like to get on places, and they've all got girlfriends, and it just sort of evolved from there, really. Yeah, we've got two little grandsons, one newborn, one four and a half year old, great little kid. Yeah, they're very keen to have a go too, I think. Me and Dennis live on Lake Wallace. Um, Paul and Michelle own the place and we've just moved on there to help manage it. Oh, we run them together, um, help each other. Got my middle son up there and his partner, or fiance I should say. And they run that pretty much. And we help them and they help us. They were going to manage a place and we just sat down one day with them and said rather than manage a place and work for someone else, what about we try and see if we can, you know, go to the bank and put a bit of money up and see if we can buy a place. So that sort of started the ball rolling. We also run a uh, mustering contract team between the family. We uh, muster over three million acres of goat property. And one time it was nearly four million acres. But since we bought Lake Wallace, we've downscaled a little bit. Dad, big believer in change. I think, the, yeah, one of the main changes is the uh, like the goat mustering side of things, like getting out there and um, doing off-farm work and a lot of different contracting and has really opened up part of the business and, and the gyros have yeah, just opened up a whole new avenue, a lot like with the um, contract goat mustering. We're doing a lot of contract goat mustering which enabled us to keep the kids home and provide employment. It's made this place a lot more viable and kept us all around that we could all have be employed here but um, on sort of lowish wages here but still getting a bonus out of the goats. Myself and two of my sons fly, just take it in turns, and we have motorbikes. Michelle drives the Toyota with the panel trailer and all the spare dogs, and the Goro sort of put everyone where they need to be. And as the ghosts come together, um, the dogs do most of the work then. We've got 50 in the yard, Nick. Which way do you want us to go now? Yeah, just head north. Uh, got a good number, good bit of colour up here. Yeah, no, I've stopped work. Yeah, what I've liked. Yeah, being out there with my dogs and, yeah, love it. Everybody's really keen and, and we can see it as a means to an end. We, um, you know, if we work hard now and get going, we'll be able to get everybody where they want to go earlier rather than have them, you know, later on in life with their kids old enough to take on a property and they're still not on a property. I think. Paul and Michelle, like you know, they just love that their son, all their sons are involved in um, the business, um, and just so enthusiastic and wanting to learn more. And um, I mean, what parents wouldn't love having their children at home? We all have to work together to keep the properties running, and also to do the contract goat mustering. So. We sort of work on a, a time frame of, right, well if we contract goat mustering, we've really got to, when it comes to work at home, lamb tailing or cattle mustering, or it's all in, and you just get that done as quick as you can, so that you can get back out and, you know, do your other things. Love stock work, love the challenge of goats. Just a wild animal, you break in, and it's not something that everybody can do. You're just working with dogs and people, and the family, like, we go away camping in people's quarters and it's just a family gathering really. The Mannion family 
are just amazing. Like They all get along. If they have their disagreements, it's all said at the table with everyone there, um, just so everyone puts their own opinion in and everyone's view is um, looked at and made sure that everyone you know, is happy with the decision that we make at the end. I'm the boss, <laughs> if Michelle lets me. <laughs> Paul, Philip and Brett Anderson and Jacob, who's another young lad who works for us, they're usually on the bikes. Tali would be on a four-wheeler, Amy would be on a four-wheeler and I'd tow the panel trailer. I've got a four-wheel drive ute and um, set up yards, wherever they want the yards set up and I've got the fresh dogs and I've got water. They take two dogs per bike and of course those dogs work pretty hard to get the goats under control and then the boys come back on their bikes, swap dogs, get fresh dogs, I've always got water in the car, the other dogs have a bit of a break, have a drink and then you know we sort of rotate and on it goes. Everyone's sort of got their own little role really, yeah, and when it comes to service on the bike so I seem to do it, but yeah, Nick's more the mechanic. Everybody's got their part to play and it's not just Paul and I and our boys, it's also the girls. Been good, been able to work together as a family unit along with the goat mustering, it's been great. Yeah. And they're so passionate about the livestock and the country and um, everything that I think, yeah, they wouldn't want to be anywhere else. We're always trying to make the places more viable by putting in infrastructure. We've made a lot of changes through the CMA help with the uh, project, uh, spreading water points and putting water in the middle of paddocks and running pipelines and fencing off um, creek areas like land type and also ponding, we've done a bit of ponding. The spreading of the waters, the ground cover has recovered extremely well. And we've done some exclusion fencing because we've got a lot of um, creek systems on Nandora, so riparian fencing just to preserve the creek country, try and eradicate weeds such as Bathurst and Nagora Burr. I think Paul and I will always want to work with sheep or cattle or, yeah, it's just in our blood really, always has been.